That's old Shelf, and the way he's shining his pearly whites, you know he's got something cooking. And it ain't his dinner either, cause he ain't hungry, except for the most outrageous game finds. One on the GameCube. This one though is uh, probably does the motion controls, right? Yeah, I think I saw like three of these that I'm interested in. Yeah, I like. Do you know I'm seeing like one for any of the Wii stuff? Um, for those like really only like a dollar. Yeah. For a buck each, I picked up these beauties. Shelf ain't worn slap out yet. So you best stick around. I knew I was dealing with a nerd right from the beginning. I saw comics out on the table. I saw Star Wars figures out. So I, I knew this guy probably had some video game stuff. Do you have like any video game stuff maybe? Uh, what, what kind of system specifically? Um, I played... Uh, newer, like uh, like PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, but I also play like older stuff. I don't know if you have like um, like Game Boy. Um, or, like, I knew he didn't really know much about prices because he said like, oh, he wish he had uh, the Pokemon game still because he'd give it to his niece and nephews, and he knows they're probably only worth like ten bucks. Good for you. But I, I have a, a Pokemon, and I wish I had kept it because now my little cousins are so interested, and, so and I could have given Pokemon it to them. Belt. And said, "This is what started the, <laughs> the series. This is probably worth, I don't know, maybe only ten bucks, but still yeah, ten yeah, bucks yeah, for a yeah. Um, I have some things when my mom comes right back. Yeah. Wow, that is old. That is a game box. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things. I or maybe up on the the box would be better. Are these video games? They're older than these now. No, this is for the Sega Genesis. This is this was before this yeah. was, uh, Toe Jam and Earl. That was a classic. I and, uh, yeah. Legend of Legend. I kind of want to keep that too. Okay. So yeah, like I said, this was mainly out of my personal. Set. I mean, so you're you great for bringing it out. I'm gonna take this one back because the soundtrack. Fifteen bucks for everything. Will that work? Is that too much for you? If I pay twenty, could I have this one? I have really yeah. any, any money amount. Um, you said thirteen for all this. Thirteen for all of this. Uh, would you take 10? Um, 12 wouldn't, wouldn't make a difference, a dollar less. I'll pay you 13 if you give me the bubble bobble thing. Okay. Old Shelf could have left in a hissy fit over not scoring that Rolling Thunder 3. But how could anyone leave this sale without grinning ear to ear? The negotiations, I mean, I was, I was surprised by what he, what he, uh, what he wanted. I guess he just wanted to give me a good deal because I was such a, a great fan of video games. I really wanted this like Rolling Thunder 3 he had because it was in, I think it was in better condition than mine. Really saying like any money amount, any monetary amount. And he said, nah, it's my brother's and he'd be upset if I sold it. But then I said, hey, I'll do 13 if you throw in the bubble bottle thing because I really wanted this as well. There's no disc in there, but it's got like this neat comic. This is really cool. So I'm going to Lock everything out here. I don't like give a shit about these Nintendo games. I like Bubble Bob. They're 13 bucks for all this. Remember that price. We have a wide collection of things. Crash Bandicoot 2, but not only Crash Bandicoot 2, we got Crash Bandicoot Warped, disc only. Uh, we got. Hey, 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 hey. No scratches. No scratches. Vagrant Story. Folklore. I played a demo of when, when it first came out on the PS3 and I didn't really like it. Maybe now that I got the full game, I'll give it a, more of a chance. Strider Returns, Wild Arms, Alter Code F, a remake of the original Wild Arms. He had the original Wild Arms there, but he wanted to hold on to that. The reason why I keep uh, buying it is because there's always something messed up with the box. This is really sharp. It doesn't have its mail. I don't really care. I had the mail and everything else. Jurassic Park Rampage Edition Inbox. I played a little bit of this game. Mm. I gotta play more of it though. It looks cool. I haven't played much of it, so I just gotta I'm gonna give it more of a chance. I got the Punisher for PS2. Final Fantasy 4 and Wario Land. We had a bunch of manuals too. We got the black label Spyro. We got Pokemon Blue. Earthworm Jim, Mario Land, here's a rare one. Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. This is a rare card. You find it. The mail, I mean, it's probably even more rare. This is a rare game. Empire Strikes Back, the Ubisoft version. Four Swords, Doom 2, Ruby, Red, Pokemon Red, Golden Sun Lost Age poster, Resident Evil, Director's Cut, 
Jet Force Gemini, WCW Nitro, Star Ocean, Papers for the N64, which I've got over here. Hey, there's a full N64. In addition to all this, there's a whole N64 set over here, okay? I, I don't know. I'll put this like that. Would you believe it? That was all $13. So we need these three. Two, three, three dollars, dollars for the Okay. All right, a buck for Shadows of the Empire. Complete box has everything on there. Corners are pretty nice and sharp, probably because it's, the wrapper's still partially on there. He said he might have some other uh, video game stuff, and I left him my number, but, you know, he's not going to get all that back. But this is proof, really. Look at this collage. This is a... All the years we got here, PlayStation, Nintendo, Genesis, Game Boy, PS3, PS... I mean, th this is not proof enough that this stuff is still out there, that you can go out there and ask your questions and, and, and dig out some treasures. I don't know what is. So, do me a favor. Go out there, ask your questions. And uh, remember, it's out there. Now, go get it. And that's the legend of how Shelf saved some cardboard, outwitted flea market resellers, and dug up a bubble bottle rug that most might not even know about, all in the same summer. Some might think that in order to survive this hobby, you need enough money to burn a wet mule. But with enough gumption and the right questions, you'll find what you're looking for. You just can't bargain with time. So plan ahead and watch the next episode of Volts with fresh cuts of gaming deals.